get the pen out again, I am merely just touching the sides, barely even holding anything down. Sorry if I get my head in the shot, I get a little concentrated on this. I'm also nearsighted, so I like to get up close. Oops. Try not to blow too hard. You can crack them that way. I'm surprised these haven't cracked yet on me. I've broken several of them. Something I found very helpful online if you are just getting into this, they have some cells and panel, uh, broken cells that you can buy that are very cheap. Don't use them in an actual panel, but you can use them to actually practice soldering, the cheap way of practice soldering. Or you can just get a bunch of really tiny ones like these, which barely produce anything at all, and practice on these. I'm a little bit of an, over, an overachiever, so I like to jump into things. I have built two 12 volt by half an amp panels, and they do quite well outside. I've broken at least 40 or so of these already. This is one I did a while ago, and I messed up. Let's see if I can show you this. Come on, there we go. If you could tell right about there, that connection, they overlaid each other. And then this one right here started to come apart. And I just decided that it would be easier to just dump that panel. I also did a very sloppy job on it, as you could tell from the way the soldering is all scattered around. Just decided it would be easier to ditch that and continue on a new panel. And I overcut. If anybody out there knows a better way of cutting these to a more exact length more efficiently, please tell me. I am not good at estimating these lengths. I am quite often having to lay these down. The way I'm lifting these, I have not the best way to do it, but I've been doing that for a little while. Haven't broken one since, but be very gentle. They will crack on you unexpectedly if you're new. Again, leave a slight area. I'm putting it really close to these panels, I mean these cells, because I like to put them close together to save on space. That was the one I did very poorly. Try not to solder them on at a crooked angle on the bottom. Otherwise, you have some that are like this but are straight on and you don't want that. It makes them all lopsided and disconfigured. Also, I should warn before, if you have solder that has flux on the inside, try to keep it a little bit away from where your panel, the front side of your cells are. If you do it over here, all these little spots over here is from the flux hitting the wood, and if these are over there, they will drop onto it and you will lose just a slight efficiency. I didn't notice a very big, big drop, but you do lose a little bit. And with how inefficient solar panels really are, they are great, free energy, but 17% efficiency, that's not, not the great thing. You want to keep as much efficiency as possible. The cell does not like me. There we go. That was a close one. Try not to do it over more than three times like I did there. I messed up. Keep doing it too much over and over again. They will heat up. You'll probably hear that one crackle in a few minutes Like what I almost did there was connected this top of the panel to this top You don't want to do that otherwise the bottom of this one just goes back on the top of it and it just keeps circling and You pretty much have a useless panel after that it also get if you put it out in sunlight it can get hot enough that it actually melts the solder and could cause roof fires. I've heard or read, heard it crackle there. I've read several 
incidents where bad soldering and incorrectly made panels have caused roof fires. Just a warning. I don't quite plan on putting these small ones up on my roof. I do plan to use them like outside, just placing them on the ground or whatever. There we go. I have a few more over here in the corner. I'm just going to place these with those. Be very careful. Usually, I'd have another one of these coming off the side. The bottom of these are the positive, the tops are the negative. But I'd have another one coming off the top. And you don't want to pick them up like this because it will bend. I try to pick them up as evenly as possible off the side. And go out. This, the panel I am trying to make is that long, and it's about that wide. Not that wide, that long. Only produces about seven watts at the most. Ooh, bending it. Thanks for watching. I know I'm new. If I did anything wrong or anybody has tips, please comment on them. Be lovely. Any other newbies out there? A lot like me. Thanks for watching.